Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys this VHS and CRT effect inside of Premiere Pro and After Effects. Now, before we get started with the effect, you're gonna need these presets that I linked down in the description. I made all of these presets and therefore After Effects and Premiere Pro. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. So if you download this, you'll get these different packs here of the Premiere Pro, which has the CRT and a VHS in it. And same thing goes with After Effects here. We got also bonus effects here, and then we have the CRT and the VHS. So yeah. Those are the effects. And I'm gonna show you guys how to install the Premiere Pro ones right now. Okay, so inside the Premiere Pro file here, we have the CRT and VHS. I'm just gonna install the CRT first. And this is gonna look a bit different for me because I have these little like After Effects symbols there. I'm not totally sure why they're there, but it should be something else for you guys. But as long as it's a dot market file, it's gonna work. So you just wanna select all these files. And inside of Premiere Pro, you wanna make sure you have the Essential Graphics panel open. If that's not there, then you just wanna make sure that you have it on right here and have Essential Graphics checked. And you just wanna drag all those effects into your essential graphics there and then we're going to do the same thing with the vhs so select all of those and drag them in so it's that easy they're all installed so now all you have to do is search up either the vhs or crt and they should pop up here so now we can see we got all five of them right here i'm just going to go through pretty quickly on how to use these effects so say you want to apply one of these effects to your footage what you want to do is you want to right click on your clip here and hit nest and we're just going to name it test footage so now we have that clip nested so i'm just going to go ahead and drag on one of the effects here I'm going to do the CRT2 color distortion. Let's just drag it into our timeline here. And you want to find that nested clip that you made. I call it the test footage. And you just want to drag that into our central graphics here. And once you drag that over, you can see that all the effects are applied to the clip. And what I did is I tried to make everything super customizable and super easy to use. So there's these sliders here that you can move around to change the different effects. It's super easy and you can get tons of different effects using this. So yeah, this is what this looks like with this effect on. Now I'm not going to go through how to use every single CRT effect and VHS effect because that's just going to take too long. But once you know how to do it the first time, then you'll be able to do it to all the other effects because it's super easy and simple. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the VHS now. So I'm just going to search up VHS. Now we have all the VHS effects here. And once again, I'm just going to drag on one of the effects. So let's just do the wash out flicker. And then you just want to drag that other clip into this little panel here. Now all the effects are applied to this clip. And once again, we can go here to our sliders and customize everything. Threshold of the glow, glitch offset here. We can change the speed of that, be faster if we want. And then the last slider we have here is the washed out intensity. So we can like lower that using a more desaturated look. And then one of my favorites of this VHS pack is the four by three aspect ratio. And when you drag it on, you can see that you get this four by three aspect ratio with the effect all applied and everything. But what you can do is go here and mess with the different frame sizes. So we can use a square we can go to the original frame size here but the 4x3 is super cool it gives your footage a different look and i really like how that looks you can change the glitch speed here you can disable the glow or enable it you can turn off different glitches here so we can keep those off if you want and just have the uh, vhs look now if you guys want to combine different effects like the vhs effects or even the crt effects it's pretty simple to do so i'm just going to search up crt and let's use the wave flicker here and what we want to do is nest that vhs effect that we have on that one one clip so we just want to go here nest name it to vhs and then you just want to drag that clip into our panel here and now you can see that the crt is now affecting that last clip that we had with the vhs applied and if you want to go back and change some of those effects from the vhs you can just go into our nested clip here and just turn off some things or we can make the frame size like original and if we go back you can see that those changes were applied so yeah that's how you use these presets inside of premiere pro and now i'm going to show you guys how to use these presets in after effects now to install these after effects presets you want to go into to your local disk and then go to program files adobe adobe after effects and then support files and then look for presets then you just want to go into your after effects folder from the presets that you downloaded and then select all these different folders here and just drag them into your presets folder but yeah once you install those you just want to close after effects and then you want to reopen it so that the presets are in there now back inside of after effects here you just want to go into your animation presets and then you'll see the bonus effects CRT and VHS. So I'm just gonna drag in one of the CRT effects. I'll use the uh, noise one. I just wanna drag it onto your clip or either adjustment layer. And now you can see that the effect is applied. So yeah, that looks super cool. I'm just gonna go ahead and control Z so we can go back to our original footage here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a VHS effect now. Let's just use the washed out flicker. Once again, that looks super cool and it's super easy to do. But I wanna go ahead and add another effect to it. So I'm just gonna add a new adjustment layer. Let's go up to layer, new, 
adjustment layer and let's add a CRT effect on top of that. Let's add the inverted warp to it. Now when you play that back, you can see you get this super cool warp around the edges with also the CRT applied to it. Now say you wanted to add some effects, but you didn't want to add like the CRT or whatever. We can just go ahead and delete that adjustment layer. Let's just go ahead and add a new fresh one. And inside the bonus effects here, we have different effects that we can go ahead and add on. So we can add 18 FPS, which is going to slow down our footage to 18 frames per second. So if you play that back, you can see the footage is now 18 FPS. I'm just going to remove that effect and add another one. I'm going to add this delay here. And this one is super trippy, but it gives off a super cool effect. And then we got edge warp here. And then we got fisheye. These are super fun to use. You can literally mess with all of them. You can apply different effects on top of each other. Like I said earlier, like we can apply this VHS monochrome onto our clip here. So now we got this like black and white kind of look which looks super cool with this footage here. Once again, these presets will be linked down in the description below. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys do end up copying this preset pack. And make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.